Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today guys I want to talk about the next legend coming to the game and new clues which were a part of the latest update which tell us more about Watson who is the next legend believed to be coming to the game. So a quick briefing on Watson, she as we know is the daughter of a lead electronical engineer on Apex Legends. Her proper name is Natalie Paquette, the daughter of Luke Paquette. Now since day one of the game, we have seen clues as to new legends are coming. 10 plus in total have been found due to names and so forth. The two main ones we see the most on were Octane and Watson. Octane eventually came, but we never got that second legend. As we saw two new legends within the first trailer not long after the game was released. These in my opinion were Octane and Watson. So the initial leaks on Watson we got were that she had an ability called the Tesla Trap. And that's basically it. We got a few bits and bobs like audio files confirming her place amongst the legends of the game and a few other things. Yesterday with the latest update we saw many more files confirming she will soon be upon us. So firstly we saw more files indicating the Tesla Trap, one of Watson's abilities. Probably her ultimate. We also see the damage entry for the Tesla Trap, which is something you'd expect to see. We also see tactical sounds for Watson 2. Also, the ultimate sounds for Watson were added. And another interesting thing is this render right here. Now, all these data mine files are thanks to Shrugtor, whose Twitter can be found linked within the video description. But we see this render from the game files of something called an electric fence which people are speculating could be her tactical ability, much like a caustic trap. It stings or electrifies anybody who gets near to it, probably slowing them down and damaging them over time. Or guys, this electric fence could indeed be her Tesla trap and be her ultimate. Because if we go back and look at one of the data mine files, we see perimeter security, which kind of makes sense with this electric fence which you could probably set up somewhere leave it there if it gets triggered it slows them down and it gives you a perimeter warning of where they are so indeed people this could be the tesla trap we are reading so much on and it does make sense now i believe she is coming soon as i truly think the update which was dropped last night by respawn added things into the game we know it added the Alstar into the game also people have already been getting Alstar skins from the apex packs when they shouldn't be so no doubt we are just waiting for them to make the Alstar live i also think people that watson will soon follow or maybe even be made live when the Alstar comes too as I definitely think she will be a season one legend. As we saw via the mistake posted by PlayStation, they let slip info on a second legend coming within season one, and that legend will no doubt be Watson people. Now my predictions on when she will come will be halfway between season one and season two, which would be the date of April 30th to the exact day, and it will be a Tuesday also. Exactly six weeks after season one was released, and exactly halfway up to season two. Interestingly also to pick up on people, a data mine file from a while back people suggested at the time could possibly be dates for when said weapons or soul legends will be entering the game. This file we see on screen now has the number 30 next to the L star. Could this indicate the L star will be released on the 30th of April, the same date I predict Watson will come, the same date which is the exact halfway point between season 1 and season 2. Well people, what do you think? It does make a lot of sense to me. If they were going to drop a new weapon and a new legend, it would make sense that they'd probably drop them at the halfway point. Why drop them a week before season two? Why drop them two weeks before season two? Why drop them a week after season one? Why do you drop them two weeks after season one? It makes sense you drop them at the halfway point, which is April 30th, which is also, like I said, a date on a data mine file, suggesting that we may get the L-Star on that date too. Now we've seen the L-Stars being put into the game via the skins people have been getting through Apex packs via the update yesterday, which they shouldn't be getting. So know that people, there's a big fat red button within response offices waiting to be hit with a hammer to let these legends and weapons loose in the game. 
But as you guys know, it's all speculation. So take it with a pinch of salt. But if any more information drops regarding the game, as always, guys, I will have you covered right here on my channel. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.